Hey guys, it's Love and Liv. And today we're going to be doing um, Halloween nails. So we're going to start with the pumpkin. So what you're going to do is you're going to get a beige or tan polish and open it, of course, and paint your nail with it. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to take orange and what you're going to do is you are just going to make sure there's not a lot on the brush, but there's still some. And what you're going to do is you are going to make two little bumps at the end of your nail to make it look kind of like a pumpkin. You can make it go as high or low as you'd like. And we're going to do this now. Okay, so now you're going to take brown polish and you're going to drip it onto like a piece of tin foil or paper or something and you're not going to need that much and you can either use a um, striper or a dotting tool like we are and you're just going to get some and you're going to make a stem to make that you're just going to go kind of like that and yeah there's your stem basically so and when we made the stem we made a dot and then we dragged it down and um, now you're going to take your background color and you're going to take a small dotting tool and just drip that background color somewhere a little bit. And then what you're going to do is you are going to take a small dotting tool like I said and you're just going to make little like lines in the pumpkin. And um, there you go. That is your pumpkin. It is all done. And you did not have to do those lines. Or you can make them thinner if you'd like. And let's get on to the next one. Okay, so um, now you're going to paint your um, next finger that you want to do dripping blood on with the same beige or tan polish. Just like we have already done. And now you're going to take red. And um, you are going to drip it somewhere. Um, on your tin foil or whatever you're dripping the nail polish on. And let me get this out because we don't have much of it. Okay. And you can always go and add more. I like to do that so the nail polish doesn't dry up. And then you're going to just take that red nail polish and um, near your cuticle, what you're going to do is you're going to make a couple of red dots. Okay, so um, after you've done about four, two, or two dots, somewhere four, two, or three, you're going to take the same red polish, um, but this time you're going to do that. And this time, um, and if you want more detail on how to do this, go to the dripping paint nail art that I've already made a video on. So what you're going to do is you are going to make a little bit larger dots. Those are just kind of guidelines. And when you make them a little larger, you're going to pick up your dotting tool slightly and you're going to drag it to the cuticle. And just make a straight line and do that with all of these. And then what you're going to do is you are going to connect these together. Just like Okay, so now for the next one, we're going to be doing candy corn. So for this, you'll need a makeup sponge. Um white nail polish, red, I mean white, um, orange, and yellow nail polish. So what you're going to do first is you're just going to paint your nail white. Okay, so now you're going to take a needle string and you are going to um, put on your white, orange, and yellow onto this makeup sponge. So um, when you apply it, make sure you put it um, apply the colors on so then when you sponge it on the colors will go, go horizontally not diagonally I mean not vertically and um, you don't need too much white as there's already white on the nail and people always ask why do you put why do you put white on your nail if you're um, sponging white on that's because um, um, we just want it to look kind of even and opaque throughout the whole thing. So. Okay, 
so now sponge it onto the nail so all the colors will be onto there just like that and as you can see the white did not get on as much so I'm just gonna kind of apply it to the edge of the makeup sponge and just put it on the orange a little bit and there you go so now you can use a cotton swab dipped into nail polish remover to clean this up okay so now we are going to be doing the frankenstein scars so you're going to paint your nail green and you also need a black striper for this part so just go ahead and paint your nail green Okay, so now you're going to take a black striper, and you're going to make two to four, um, long, like, longer lines, but not super long, sorry. Just like that, you can do, um, you can do as many as you feel like, but I think two to four looks best. Okay, so then after you've done that, you're going to take the black striper again, and you're going to make little short horizontal lines this time. And these make up Frankenstein scars. Okay, so um, there you go. I'm gonna make it a little thicker. And there you go, you have Frankenstein scars. So now for the thumb, we're gonna do, we're gonna be doing another gradient. So go ahead and paint your thumb white. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a makeup sponge and um, purple and pink nail polish, and go ahead and put them onto your makeup sponge in any way you'd like to. Okay, so now you're gonna go ahead and sponge it onto the nail. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is with um, some black polish, a regular brush, you are going to make a thin stripe at the bottom of your nail with black to show the ground. Okay, and after you've done that, you're going to take your black striper and um, you're going to make a cross on one and you're going to make a grave on the other side. And to do the grave, you are going to curve up the little square, but with curved ends, kind of. And um, you can fill it in. We're just going to fill it in with a dotting tool just because it will be much faster. So now we are going to be doing a track iron. So for this, go ahead and paint your thumbnail with orange, of course. And then what you're going to do is you are going to take a black scraper and you are just going to make some triangles and a mouth. So we're gonna do that now. So now going back to the vine, vampire teeth, um, mm -hmm. you are going to take your black striper and you're going to just make a line and a curved line like we did on the emoji nails for the mouth. For this one, we're not putting eyes on. Okay. So after Skin. you've done that, you are going to take, you're going to go ahead and fill it in. Yeah. Okay, so we also put windows. We just dipped our dotting tool in white and um, made some dots. So now we're going to be doing a moon. So you're going to take a dark shimmery purple. It doesn't have to be shimmery or sis. And you're going to paint your nails. with This doesn't have to be super dark. Just like not like pastel white. So 
just layer on as many colors, I mean, la layer on as many coats as you feel you, you would like. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take either gray or black. We're taking gray, and you're going to dip your dotting tool into it. Where's mine? And just make a large dot in the middle of your nail. is you're just going to take some white nail polish and with an even smaller dotting tool you are just going to make some dots in the background to look like little stars and you don't want them to be like perfectly put in specific places because then it just won't look real so that is the moon Okay, so now you're going to paint one of your nails beige, and this we're going to be doing vampire teeth. So go ahead and paint it beige, and um, while we're waiting for that to dry a little bit, um, you can paint your other last nail white. And this one will be an eyeball. So now going back to the vine, vampire teeth, um, mm -hmm. you are going to take your black striper and you're going to just make a line and a curved line like we did on the emoji nails for the mouth. For this one, we're not putting eyes on. Okay, so after Skin. you've done that, you are going to take, you're going to go ahead and fill it in. Okay, so now you're going to take a white striper and you're just going to make fangs. So, can do a little thin line and then just make sure you keep some space up from the top of the mouth and the teeth and do that on both sides. Okay, so now you're going to take red and a small dotting tool and we're going to make blood coming off the fangs so to do this like i said take a small dotting tool where's my phone right here and you're going to put some red on it and just kind of on the tips just put a little bit of blood and have it come off the whole nail so just I mean not and just let it come off the end of the nail. Just like that. And um then if you don't want it to come off the end of the nail, um you can just put a little back on. And there you have your vampire teeth. For some reason, um, when we were doing this one, it didn't film, so what we did was, um, as you know, we painted it white, then we put a blue dot in the middle and um, another, and a smaller black dot in the middle of the nail, and then um, we're going to show you how to make the blood vessels. Okay, so um, what you're going to do is you're going to take your red nail polish and a really small dotting tool, and to make the blood vessels, you're just going to go ahead and put red on your small dotting tool and you are just going oh, that's not, you are just going to make um some squiggly lines apparently and so we just made some you can also use a red striper for this if you think it will be easier but we don't have red striper so yeah we're just using a really small dotting tool and yeah now you can go ahead and apply top coat to all your designs